students of Devi Nandraj Public School this is Dalvi ma'am going to teach you today class 3 science chapter 4 water yes as you all know that water is very very important for all of us because it is a special liquid that has no color taste or smell it falls from the cloud as rain that form lakes streams seas etc and we cannot live without it so let me tell you that today in this chapter we will study about the three states of matter yes the three states of matter are solid liquid and gas as you know you can see in the picture the first one that this is the ice it is a solid form of water liquid a running water and a gas when we heat the water it form a gas you can see the evaporation here now the three states of matter you can see in this picture it is very clear solid in the ice form liquid water and gas you can see here when you just put some water in a hot steam iron there you will see the steams gas take getting out of it so this is a gas so the three states of matter are solid liquid and gas let us now uh, study in explanation in vast that what are the three states of matter yes the forms of water you can see here what will happen when you put some water in an ice tray and keep it in the fridge yes you all have a fridge at your home you can just do this experiment also after some time the water will change into ice and this process which water changes into ice is called cooling on cooling is called freezing now the another form of water liquid leave the ice tray outside for some time the outside warm air changes the ice into water and this is the liquid form of water this process in which the ice changes into water is called melting now see the another process if we heat the water in a kettle then after some time the water will start boiling we can see even the steam or the water vapor coming out of it this is the steam and the water vapor coming out of it so water vapor is the gas form of water and this process in which the water changes into water vapor on heating or boiling is called evaporation now let us see the natural sources of water yes let me tell you the main source of water is rain and this all are the natural sources of water ocean river ponds lakes and streams and in this chapter I will also explain you the water cycle yes you can see the picture of water cycle here what happened in nature in nature the heat of the Sun the heat of the Sun is constantly changing the water of rivers you can see the here the surface water of the river you can see the river here changes the water of rivers lakes and ocean into water vapor you can see here this three arrow the water vapor is going up and it, it is meeting the cold air and it causes the water vapor you, we cannot see it but because it is odorless colorless and it is transparent also so this water vapor goes up this is a gaseous form of water and when it is cooled meeting the cold air it changes into water it changes here it the heat of the sun is changing the water vapor rises up it forms the droplets of water it is called condensation and the cloud is formed and after the cloud is formed it's raining you can see here 
so evaporation condensation and precipitation okay this is how the rain falls the white steam that comes out of pressure cooker or forms over the boiling water is actually the droplets of water i have seen in the above picture and in this the droplets form when the water vapor meets the cold air and cools in nature the water vapor rises meets the cold air and changes into droplets called clouds you can see the clouds here and this is how the rain forms so in this chapter what we have studied yes we have studied the three states of matter solid liquid and gas the natural sources of water the forms of water and the water cycle thank you students